Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use V-Ray displacement maps in 3ds Max to create font and other things along a plane. Uh, for today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to do it on a tire. So let's just jump straight into it. That was the uh, finished product. I want to show you how to do that from scratch. So first we have to create a tire to do that on of course. So this is how I create my tire. I just do cylinder a flex pivot point, put it in the center, and then I just rotate it 90 degrees and put it in the center here. Pull this up. All right. Now I convert it to an edible poly, and I just delete these two outside pieces. I then grab all these in the middle, throw a connect on it, do two segments, uh, widen those a little bit, and then I bubble it some because no tire is completely flat of course uh, of course you can always create your own tread like I did but for today's tutorial I want to show you how to um, you know use uh, a displacement map from Photoshop and apply it to a tire to create a tread so now we got our outside tire I want to grab this I want to create my wheel wall so about that's good I'm going to grab all those and I'm just going to detach it. So your your wheel wall and your actual tread itself are not going to be connected but as long as you have them close and you know you don't move any of this stuff when you render it it will look fine. So now I have my wheel wall and of course the wheel wall isn't completely you know flat either. Uh, so I want to give it a little bit of a bulge. About no, like that. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. Doesn't need to be perfect. This is more about showing you how to use V-Ray displacement map than anything. So now I have this, right? Uh, what I'm going to do is throw on a UVW map just to start. I'm going to come over to my materials. I already have some made, but I have three laid out that are fresh. So I'm going to grab one of these, go over here, and grab my bitmap. What I'm be grabbing is this. This was uh, a displacement map I found online that I edited it and uh, changed some things on, changed it to KTM and stuff like that <clears throat> for a, uh, a project that I had done. But I'm gonna go grab that off my desktop, wherever I have it at, and I'm just gonna throw it on there and do show shaded material and viewport. So now you can see that it's on there. Uh, this is the tricky part. You're going to have to mess with all these different settings to get it to look correct. Um, my suggestion is take real world map size off. It's different for every computer, it seems like. But, uh, yeah. So now I'm going to want to adjust this to fit correctly. And actually, before I even do that, I want to throw a turbo on here. <clears throat> I'm going to do two iterations. Then I can come back up to my, uh, my gizmo. Um, my tire might need to be slightly thicker. No, that seems pretty good. Uh, make sure it's all even on all sides. <clears throat> come out of this. And it seems like it's not fitting 100% correctly. So I'm gonna come back in next. This is probably the trickiest part is just getting it all to fit correctly. So if I click fit, that might have fixed things for me. Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> it's getting there. Um, maybe about that. Uh, that's pretty close. We're going to go with that. So this isn't the displacement part yet. So now that I have it lined up on my uh, wheel wall, you can come in here and go to V-Ray displace, Displacement Mod. It's going to be all the way at the bottom, right there. I throw that on there. <coughs> and there's two things that are important. There's your amount. This is how far out the displacement is going to come. And then there is edge length. The lower the number, the better the quality. Anything below one is going to get really intensive to render. And if you go like above two, you go to like three, four, five, it's going to have not as good of quality and uh, I'll show you that as we go on so now your texture map this is you got to take this image right here and you have to put it on to there so we come over to our material 
you can see I have it in my diffuse. You can just drag it right over on the texture map and do an instance. That's fine. So now I can edit all of uh, this right in here. So I can now throw on a regular material onto my wheel wall. And I will do a quick render and um, show you what it looks like. And actually, before I do that, let me hide this one back here. So that way it's not taking up render speed. All right. <coughs> oh, sorry for all the coughing. Uh, give that a sec. And uh, you can see we have our uh, wheel wall along right here. Yep, and that is, uh, for the most part, how you create you know, a displacement uh, map on your you know, plane or whatever. You can do it on a flat plane. You can create any kind of map you want and throw it on there. So now that uh, that's on there, let me show you some of the, uh, the settings. So let's say I took the amount and I turned it up to 1. Well, before we do that, let's put this back at 0.1. And let's say we put this at like 5. You're going to see the quality of it. Like it's going to render much faster, but the quality of it is going to dip. And actually, it's not terrible, but you can see some of like the, uh, the little edges. It's actually not too bad this time. Kind of surprises me. So actually, if I crank this up even further, like let's say, let's put it at like 20, and see how that looks. Huh? I guess it's only when you have like uh, when it's sticking out more. When you have it sticking out, you can really notice it. Like I'll show you a, uh, a good example of that. Yeah. So <laughs> it gets kind of nasty when it sticks out more. It gets really, really bad. Um, so now if I was to bring this back down to like two. You'll be able to notice, you know, a huge difference. I'm assuming. <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, you can see it cleans up the edges a lot nicer, but you don't really ever want anything sticking out that far. But it makes a. Uh, let me see. Let me pause this for a second. It's gonna be hard to tell, but um, around here it cleans up the edges, and you can tell right through there it's really jagged. And we're gonna, you're gonna notice that a lot when I do um, this part right here. So over here, let me throw on uh, Turbo Smooth. I'll do that twice to match here. And then I'm going to throw on a UVW map. All right, grab another material, go to your diffuse, and then grab your tire tread. You can throw that right on there and have it shown. So here comes the tricky part again. You gotta make sure it all fits on here correctly. As you can see, it's not correct right now. If I turn it, uh, I can't use a plane though. Plane is not going to work for this. Uh, I have to use a uh, cylinder. So turn it, get it fitting on there. And then you have to adjust it to fit your, your liking. I'll make it just slightly bigger, probably about that. Now you can see it's flush all the way around. So we have that on there. And now that we have that um, adjusted, we can go throw on another V-Ray displacement map, take our image here, and throw it on the texture channel. And we can just put this back on. So if we render this now, um, we're gonna, tires obviously have more uh, thickness to them than the side of the wall. The side of the wall is very flat. So we're going to bump this up maybe to about one and uh, we'll keep that at one momentarily. Zoom out of this. Uh, sorry, it's taking a few to render. Um, come the end of the month, I'm gonna be getting the AMD RX 480. I'm probably gonna get two of those. So that way all my rendering will be a lot, a lot faster. Right now I currently have a uh, 7970. Okay, but you can see you have your tire tread sticking out. And this is, uh, if you're creating something that you're not gonna be looking at this really close. So you get up really close. Uh, let me cancel this. If you get up really close to it, any day now, you can see there's all of these. And this is where decreasing your edge length, if I brought this down to like 0.2, it would fix a lot of that, but it's, it's gonna be really intensive. 
So this is more good if you're like far away, because if you're far away, you're not really gonna notice it so much. But if you're doing like close-ups, you're gonna see that. So let me show you. Um, now you'll really be able to see with the edge length. If I put that at five, this is all gonna become much, much worse. All right, let's just do a little render. Sorry, it takes a few, you know, it happens. All right, you can tell it's gotten much more jank, uh, jaggedy. You can see all the way through here, there's, it's just, it's not as smooth, not as sharp as you would like it to be. All right, so yeah, that is how you use V-Ray displacement maps to create textures on the side of your wheels and it's really great because then you don't have to model all this but I do suggest that you actually model your own tire if you're gonna be doing close-ups obviously have your own tire that you modeled and don't use the displacement but if you're gonna be like this far away and you're not gonna see up close that's completely fine use the displacement it's a great alternative and then just you know throw your your rim in there whatever and you're good to go so I hope this was helpful if you guys have any other questions, any other tutorials that you want me to do, just let me know and I'll be happy to make them. I do start a new job where I'll be working 50 hours a week, so it'll be a little bit harder for me, but I will do my best to get out some more tutorials for you. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you.